Hello guys, welcome back to another collection overview video. Today I'm going to go over my Scorpion releasing Blu-rays. I will do a part two at some point and go over... Actually, you know what, I'll probably just do it all in one video because I only have 52 titles on Blu-ray and I have maybe 10 or less DVDs. So I'll probably just do the whole shebang right here and get it over with. And these are alphabetized. I do have one double that I'll show you when I get to it. I'm willing to trade it or sell it if you guys are interested. I'll talk more about that when I get to it. The first one is called A Candle for the Devil. And this is a witchcraft, satanic type film. It was released in 1973. It is all region and it was it is an anamorphic widescreen, rated R. You get a brand new HD master with the recolor corrected for optimum picture. You get a brand new on-camera interview with star Judy Geeson. You get a original trailer and you get fun facts and trivia segment. And that's a really cool looking cover. The next one is called Barbarossa and that stars Willie Nelson and Gary Busey. This is a western from 1982. It is also anamorphic widescreen but it is region A. And it is region, I mean, uh, rated PG. You get an on-camera interview with the director. Uh, you get interviews with the co-stars. You get isolated music and effects track, which is always cool. They kind of took a page from Criterion with the isolated music. I always enjoy that. The next one is kind of a sex comedy, The Beach Girls. 1982. It is um, anamorphic widescreen, rated R. And it looks like it is region A. And you get a couple special features. You get the brand new anamorphic master in HD from the original camera negatives. And you get a fun facts and tri trivia segment with Cat's Meow. The next one is called Charlie Chan and the Curse of the Dragon Queen with Michelle Pfeiffer, Roddy McDowell, Brian Keith, Angie Dickinson is in here as well. From 1980, it is rated PG. And it is Region A, anamorphic widescreen. Next one here is a really cool cover, City on Fire, starring Leslie Nielsen, Henry Fonda, Shelley Winters, and Ava Gardner. Film came out in 79. It is rated R. It is all region ABC, anamorphic widescreen, and you do get some special features. Uh, it looks like for the special features, you get a brand new HD scan and an original TV spot. And there's Henry Fonda right on the right side there. Damn good actor. Here's a favorite of mine from back in the day. This is Day of the Animals, a drive in type film, another Leslie Nielsen film, also has Christopher George and his wife Linda Day. Uh, film is from 1977, all region, rated PG, running time of 97 minutes, and it does have some pretty good special features here, as you can see. Um, you get the brand new anamorphic master in HD. You get 5.1 surround. Uh, you get an isolated music track. You get interview with actors and you get fun facts and trivia. I recommend Day of the Animals. Another one I recommend is called Death Ship that stars George Kennedy and Richard Crenna. Haunted uh, Ghost Ship 1980 91 minutes. It is rated R and it is region A. And You do get a couple special features. The next one is called The Dirt Bike Kid, starring Peter Billingsley from Christmas Story fame. Ralphie, who uh, shot his eye out with the BB gun, or almost did. This movie is from 1985, rated PG, region A, and it is anamorphic, widescreen. You get a brand new HD master. You get brand new interviews with some of the stars. You get audio commentary and an original trailer. 
Here's one I haven't watched yet, but I'm looking forward to checking this out at some point. This is called Dr. Death, Seeker of Souls. Uh, the film is from 1973. It is rated R, Region A. And you get a couple special features. You get the brand new 2015 HD Master. You get Dr. Death Commands, an interview with the star of the show. You get Remembering Eddie Seta, who... Uh, you get an interview with his son, Steve, and a TV spot. Here's a, another good one. This is a Killer Dogs film called Dogs from 1976. It is rated R, anamorphic widescreen, running time of 91 minutes. You get the anamorphic master in HD. You get uh, a featurette with interviews with the cast and crew, original trailer, fun facts and trivia, and liner notes. The next one is called Don't Answer the Phone, the remastered edition. This is a good film. It's, it's not a good film. It's a, it's a decent film, but it's a, a good little slasher from 1980. And um, you get the brand new 2013 Master in HD. Um, you get interviews, on-camera interviews and uh, audio interviews, and then you get the original trailer. So the next one is called Firepower, and this has an all-star cast. Sophia Loren, James Coburn, O.J. Simpson, Eli Wallach, Victor Mature, and this is a film from 1979, Region A, rated R, anamorphic widescreen, running time of 104. And you get a brand new HD master and an original trailer. And Sophia Loren is one of the best looking women ever in the history of the world. She was just, she still is. She's got to be in her 70s now, but she's still gorgeous. The next one is called The First Power, starring Lou Diamond Phillips. Kind of a paranormal, uh, satanic worship film with uh, a villain who is immortal. So how does Lou Diamond Phillips catch him? You'll have to watch the movie. This is a Scorpion and Kino release. Um, you get brand new interviews and original trailer. The film is from 1990 and it is Region A rated R. The first power. Here is Flavia the Heretic, digitally remastered. This one is anamorphic, 1974, running time of 101 minutes, all region, and this is the unrated edition. That's a sleazy little film. <clears throat> the next one is called Force 5. It's a film that came out in 1981. It is all region, rated R, anamorphic widescreen. The next one is called Girly. 1969, this one came out. It is Region A, rated R. And you get the widescreen master. You get the final episode of Katrina's Nightmare Theater, uh, Katarina, which is a Blu-ray exclusive. And you get an interview with the screenwriter. The next one here is a Burt Lancaster film called Go Tell the Spartans. And this is a film from 1977. Rated R, 115 minutes running time. Region A. And this film won an Academy Award. I believe. The Vietnam War film. The next one is called Goodbye Gemini. This also has Judy Geeson in it. Michael Redgrave is in here as well. The film is from 1970. And Gemini Twins um, murdering people in this film. It is Region A, rated R, and it is anamorphic widescreen. And you do get some audio commentary and an original trailer. <clears throat> Here's another good killer animals film called grizzly this also has christopher george in here 
and you do get some pretty good special features. There's a film that's from 1976, running time of 90 minutes, and it is all region ABC for my friends overseas. Uh, you get the Anamorphic Master in HD, you get the 5.1 surround, you get a new Beverly screening Q&A with Andrew Prine and producer David Sheldon. You get a featurette Jaws with Claws interview with producer David Sheldon. Um, fun facts and trivia. And that is a really good movie to get. Drive-in classic, Grizzly. The next one is called Harlequin. Not to be confused with any of the Batman movies. This is a film from 1981. Um, it is... Region A, anamorphic widescreen, and it is rated PG. You get a trivia segment with Katarina the Beautiful Clown, as you can see right there if it focuses. You get the widescreen master in HD. You get audio commentary, isolated music, Harlequin. The next one is called The Haunting of Morella. Is Nicole Eggert from Baywatch fame. This came out in 1990, right in her heyday. That was probably at the peak of her popularity. Nicole Eggert, you can see her up on the cross up there. I wonder what she's up to these days. It has audio commentary with Jim Wynorski. Um, you get a brand new HD master. You get interview with Roger Corman, deleted segments. You get Katarina's Nightmare Theater Mode, an original trailer. And this one is Region A. Hunting of Morella. The next one is called Hollywood Boulevard. Shamelessly loaded with sex and violence. Color 1976. It is rated R, Region A. And you can see that they're having some kind of a wet t shirt contest. I know you guys out there like wet t shirt contests, so go check out Hollywood Boulevard. The next one is called The House on Sorority Row. I also have this one on DVD somewhere. I have yet to watch this. It's still sealed. But I have seen the movie before, just not the Blu-ray here. You get This is a two-disc. Uh, the film is from 1982. It is all region, and it is anamorphic widescreen. And the first disc is Blu-ray. It says you get the brand new HD master. You get audio commentary. Bonus audio commentary with the director, TV spots, theatrical trailer, storyboard comparison, on-camera interviews with the co-stars. Uh, disc 2 is just nothing but interviews and uh, bonus features and stuff like that. So this is a nice, nice little addition to pick up House on Sorority Row. Nice little slasher film from 1982. Let's see, the next one here is only one of three slip covers that I have for the Blu-rays. This is called Humongous. Let me see if I can pull this one out for you guys. I believe this also has um, an alternative cover that you can flip. And there is the original disc art. And that is also the reversible cover. Humongous. This is about a, a woman who is raped. She's the a survivor of a brutal rape in the beginning of the film, and she becomes impregnated by um, this monster. The, the boy turns out to be a monster, and uh, he goes around killing people. So I recommend the movie. I thought it was pretty good. I'm going to put that slipcover on at a different time. I don't want to waste any of your guys' time. So the next one is a nice little creature feature film called Island Claws about killer crabs. The film is from 1980. It is in widescreen. You get a HD master. You get an on-camera interview with one of the actors in the film. And it is Region A anamorphic widescreen. Next one is called Joysticks. A little... Comedy from the 80s, 1983 to be exact. It is rated R in this region A. And you get a little uh, comedy about an arcade. Brand new 2015 HD Master. You get audio commentary and on-camera interviews. 
Another killer animal movie. This is Killer Fish. It has Lee Majors and Karen Black. Marco Hemingway. You get the HD Master. You get interviews with uh, Frank Pesci and William Lustig. And you get an original trailer. It is rated PG and it is Region A in anamorphic widescreen. So that is Killer Fish. The next one is a kind of a film noir. It's uh, Mickey Spillane, The Girl Hunters. The film is from 1963. It is uh, in English mono and it is anamorphic widescreen. It is unrated. Next one is another favorite of mine. This is called The Monster Club. I think everybody should pick this up, especially this time of the year in October. Um, it stars Vincent Price, Donald Pleasance, and John Carradine. Three heavy hitters. The film is from 1980. It is Region A, and it is anamorphic widescreen. And it has some pretty good special features here. You can watch it in Nightmare Theater with Mr. Pickles and Cat, or watch the film only. You get the brand new anamorphic transfer mastered in HD. You get a 62 minute interview with Vincent Price conducted in 1987 by film historian David DelVal. And you get a 40 minute audio interview between DelVal and Price. You get an on camera interview with David DelVal. You get a trailer, an isolated music track, and liner notes. So this one right here is a must own. Out of any of the movies I've shown so far from Scorpion, that would probably be my favorite so far. The next one is called Mortuary. This one has Christopher George in it and his wife Linda Day. And uh, Bill Paxton is in here. And there's a young Bill Paxton there on the left. The film is from 1983. It was a pretty decent film. About some kids who see something they shouldn't see in a mortuary and uh, all hell breaks loose. You get a brand new widescreen master in HD, you get an on-camera interview, and you get an original trailer. And this is Region A, rated R. Fun film. And the last one for this shelf is called My Tutor. And there you can see some very curvy ladies at the top of the Blu-ray. And you get, uh, the film is from 1983, rated R. And you can watch an Antoinette's Sweet Dream show filled with facts and trivia or watch the film only. You can you get the brand new anamorphic master in HD. You get original trailer and you get isolated music score. So that is my tutor. I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to be back and we'll finish up the Blu-ray section. And then once we come back from that, I have a few DVDs to show and we will wrap this up. Actually, I'm just going to keep going because I did a iOS 11 update a couple days ago for the iPhone and uh, I lost capabilities to use my YouTube capture so now I can't pause videos anymore. So I'm just going to have to keep going or I lose everything that I just recorded. So hopefully they'll do an up update on the YouTube capture but for now I'm just going to have to use my iPhone camera. The next one here is called Nashville Girl. This is one I haven't seen yet. But I have heard good things about this one. It's from 1976. Uh, this is a Roger Corman film. It's rated R. You get a brand new master from the original camera negatives. You get an interview with Roger Corman. Trailers from Hell, original trailer, and fun facts and trivia. That is Nashville Girl. The next one is the one that I have a double of. And that is called the Octagon, and they have two different cases. It's the same cover, one case is blue and one case is clear, and that's because I bought the blue one originally when it first came out um, from Walt Olson, and then I bought the second one on Ronin Flix, and they upgraded to uh, clear cases. So I'd be willing to trade or sell one of these if you guys want a Octagon, Chuck Norris, and Lee Van Cleef film. Um, hit me up, let me know if you guys are interested in that. It's a fun film from the 80s. I think it's early 80s. Or exactly 1980. 
Next one is another favorite of mine. This is a really good film. I love this movie. The atmosphere is so great in this movie. This is a Mario Baba, Planet of the Vampires. And this one takes place in outer space. And the, the scenery, the lighting, the colors, everything is, is amazing in this movie. It came out in 1965. It is unrated. It is Region A. And this is one that uh, Scorpion did in conjunction with Kino Lorber. And you do get audio commentaries. Um, you get audio commentary with our good friend Tim Lucas, who is a Mario Baba biographer. You get Trailers from Hell with Joe Dante, uh, original trailer and still gallery. This is definitely one I recommend to, for you guys to pick up. The next one is called The Pom Pom Girls from Crown International Pictures. The film is from 1976. It is rated R, anamorphic widescreen. And you get a brand new anamorphic master in HD. The original camera negatives of the uncut R-rated version. You get fun facts and trivia and original trailer. The Pom Pom Girls. The next one is Alistair McLean's Puppet on a Chain. A film from 1971 from Cinerama. Rated PG, anamorphic widescreen, region A. You get the brand new widescreen in HD. You get audio commentary by Lee Pfeiffer. Uh, you get some other commentaries. Not going to read all of them. You get quite a few actually, and you get uh, from some film historians. You get an alternate scene and an original trailer. Next one is another slasher. This one's called The Rain Killer, starring Ray Sharkey and Michael Chiklis is in here. Kind of a whodunit. This is a, a film from 1990, rated R. Region A. And you get the brand new HD Master, original trailer, and fun facts and trivia. The Rain Killer. There's a little piece of sci-fi goodness. This one is The Rift, starring Ray Wise. The film is from 1989. Rated R, Region A. And you get the new 2016 HD Master. And you get uh, some interviews and a reversible artwork on the inside. This was another Kino and Scorpion collab. The next one is called Seizure. Uh, this is one I have not seen before. I've had this for a while now and I still haven't gotten around to watching it. It's a film from 1973. It's rated PG, anamorphic widescreen. And you get the new HD master, you get interviews and an original trailer. This one here is called Short Eyes. I thought this was a pretty good film. It's about a guy who goes to prison for committing some horrendous acts. And while he's in prison, the prisoners kind of take justice into their own hands, I guess you can say. And they, they uh, exact revenge on the, the uh, prisoner that was put in. Uh, it, it's... It's kind of a brutal film, and there's some really crazy scenes in here, but all in all, I thought it was a pretty fun watch. Film from 1977, rated R. You get a brand new interview with some of the stars, audio commentary, and you get the new HD Master. Short Eyes. I believe this was a limited edition, and I think it, I think it may be sold out and hard to find, though. So if you can get Short Eyes for a good price, I would say go ahead and jump on it. The next one is called... Silent Scream, starring the awesome Barbara Steele, one of my all-time favorites. This is another slipcover edition. And it also has Cameron Mitchell and Yvonne DiCarlo, who played Lily Munster. And this was an upgrade for me because I have the DVD. And that's what the DVD cover looked similar to that right there in the disc art. And then there's the reversible cover. That's That right there is what the DVD cover looked like. That's the exact cover. And I thought this was a good film. This is a, this is a worthy pickup. And if you've never heard of the film, it's even a worthy blind buy, I would say. I would recommend it. Here's another good one. This is another drive-in style film. This is called Something Waits in the Dark, starring Barbara Bach. 
Joseph Cotton is in here. Cameron Mitchell and Mel Ferrer. This one is also known as Screamers. And that may be the title you guys remember it as. That's what the original cover looked like. I just thought that the alternate title, Something Waits in the Dark, that cover looked a little bit better, so I flipped it. And this is a film from 1980, and I, I love Barbara Bach, the Mrs. Uh, Ringo star. And she still looks great today. And she's got to be in her 70s, late 60s, early 70s. And you can't go wrong with Joseph Cotton. That guy's a great actor. Um, is Region R... Uh, rated R, Region A, I should say, and then you do get a the brand new HD Master and widescreen. You get new interviews, um, Joe Dante and Jim Wojnarowski again, and Roger Corman, and you get an original trailer. And this is definitely one I recommend. Here's another little cheesy film, another drive-in style film. This is called Sorceress, and this is a sword and sandal film, starring Playboy twins Lee Harris and Lynette Harris. And they're nude a little bit in this movie from 1982. Another Jim Wynorski, Jack Hill, and uh, Brian Stewart film. And uh, it is rated R, anamorphic widescreen. And you do get some interviews and some, you get some Roger Corman stuff. John Carl Buechler, Jim Wynorski. All the stuff you'd want to hear about that movie. The next one is Sorority House Massacre. This is another slasher film from the 80s, 1986, rated R, Region A, 78 minutes. And you get interviews again, this is another Roger Corman film. And you get interviews with the stars of the film. <clears throat> Here's a good little sci-fi comedy called Space Raiders, I really enjoyed this film. I believe this one was also limited. It was like limited to a thousand or two thousand, I think. I can't recall. But it's a film from 1983, 83 minutes, region A, PG. This is a good little family film and it's it still stands up today, I think. It's it's a good little watch. The next one is Stripped to Kill, and this is almost kind of like a Brian De Palma type film, I think. That's the kind of vibe I get when I watch this one. The film is from 1987. And it was produced by Corman. And it is Region A, rated R. And you get some special features. You get the new HD transfer. Then you get audio commentary with stars. And uh, you even get some stuff with Corman again. So Next one is a musical with one of my favorite groups of all time. Earth, Wind, and Fire. That's the way of the world. There are two sides to every hit record. And um, Harvey Keitel is also in here, a very young Harvey Keitel. The film is from 75. And it is Region A, anamorphic widescreen. And you get, um, there's two different versions of the film. It looks like you also get the original theatrical version. The next one is... Uh, Tomboy, starring Betsy Russell. And this is one I have not watched yet either. The film is from 85. And you get interviews, and you can watch it in Katarina's Cat's Meow theater type little setting that she has. You get the rare photo gallery and reverse art. Let's see here. I got three more Blu rays. We're almost done, guys. Set them down, everything's falling here. The next one's called Tower of Evil. And this was like a, a hammer style film. The film is from 1972, rated R, anamorphic widescreen. You get uh, Katarina's Nightmare Theater. You get on camera interview with historian David Duvall again. The next one is another Barbara Bach film called The Unseen. I enjoyed this one as well. About a a child, a man-child who was kind of locked away to kind of 
play with toys in the basement. A grown man in a diaper and he's got feces everywhere and food and uh, he's a monster. So the film is from 1980, anamorphic widescreen rated R and you get quite a bit of special features. You get the new master. Uh, you can watch it in Canarina's Nightmare Theater. You can watch Cat's Eyes, a camera interview with the producer. You get audio commentary with a bunch of guys. Uh, interviews, makeup test slides, sketches, all kinds of goodies. I do recommend this one as well. That is The Unseen. And the last one for this shelf is called The Wild Eye. And this is supposed to be kind of like the Mondo Kane movies where there's kind of like the culture shock document, documentary style filmmaking. And you get the new 2K scan, widescreen, optional Italian with English subtitles on camera interviews. And it is Region A. The film is from 1968. The Wild Eye. And let me back up here and we will look at the DVDs. I only have this little sec, sec <laughs> I can't talk tonight. I have this little section here of the Scorpion DVDs. And the first one is Ator, the Fighting Eagle. And it's a kind of a sword and sandal Conan ripoff type film. It was fun. 1982. Very, very cheesy, but it's, it's fun. The next one is called Body Melt. And it says stage one is hallucinations, stage two is organ failure, stage three is body melt. From 1994. And you can see that it does looks like it has some pretty good um, practical effects. Next one is a little twin billing of The Devil's Men Uncut starring Donald Pleasance and Peter Cushing and you also get Terror so that's pretty cool nice little double feature and the next one is called Double Exposure which since has a Blu-ray release I believe it was Vinegar Syndrome that put that one out but you get a bunch of special features. I'm not going to go through all of that. The f this film is from 1982. i got to speed it up because it's telling me my battery is very low. So I have another double feature here called The Dreaming and Initiation. Here is the DVD edition of Humongous, which also has a uh, Blu-ray release. i got to see if this is still recording. Hopefully that just recorded. I showed three movies because it looked like my screen was black. Uh, the next one is The Internecine Project, starring James Coburn and Lee Grant. Film from 1974. Here is Mortuary again with Christopher George and his wife Linda Day George. That was upgraded to Blu-ray. Point of Terror, starring the very sexy Diane Thorne. Film from 1971. Satan's Slave Uncut. From 1976. And the last one is Who? Starring Elliot Gould. So that was it, guys. That was my entire Scorpion collection. Let me know which ones you guys have or which ones I should pick up. Hope you guys enjoyed the little video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care, and see you soon.